very, very, very much. Um, you, I remember every morning you getting up and going to work. I remember everything about it. I re and when you're a kid and you're sad, you know, when mom leaves for work and it's so hard, but as a grown up, knowing that you did that all on your own, that you took care of us, and it didn't matter where you worked or how many jobs you had, that you wanted to make sure that, that we were okay, oh, and that you. we were fed, and that we had a roof over our head. And no matter how hard it got, and it got hard, there were really, really, really hard times. We never went hungry. We never went without love. We never went without everything we needed. And I was thinking of how hard that must have been on you. How, how loved are we? How loved were we that you sacrificed your whole life and all of your time and all of your youth and worked and worked and worked and worked just so we would be safe. You kept us safe. You kept us loved. And I can't tell you, Mom, how, 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 how grateful I am to you. Oh, thank you. I love I, you so much. Thank you. I love I'd you. I'd do so. it all over again. And I don't ever want you to have to do that again. I can't tell you. I just needed to tell you and I just needed you to know. And I know you know. But Mom, you have no idea. You have no idea how how much I look up to you. How much, how much I look up to you. You know, just, we weren't easy. We weren't easy. And we put you through, we put you through hell. No, we, you didn't. No, we no, did. No, you did not. Mom, we did. And you just kept loving us. And you just kept supporting us. And you just kept believing in us. I still do. I know, but I, I only think that I am who I am today because of you. And that's the truth. The truth is, is you didn't let me slide, you know, when it came to education. You didn't let me slide when it came to grammar or to manners or to the way I looked, how I presented myself, to how I treated other people. And you always, you know why I'm so, why, you know how you say I'm kind and I'm nice? Good hearted. Because you told me when I was young, you would, anytime I would do something that was nice and kind, you rewarded me with so much love. You would say you were the sweetest boy. You were the nicest boy. And it made me feel so good. It made me want to be nice. It made me want to be kind. And you always made me feel so special. You always made me feel like I was more important than I actually was. Oh, no. When I wanted to see that movie and you said I wrote it down on the on the porch and then the movie showed and you were like, see, that was your magic. Your magic. You, you always made magic. me feel like I was magic, you Mom. You are. But you always made me believe I was magic. <laughs> you always made me believe that I could do anything. You can. And I owe you everything. And that is the truth, Mom. Everything. Everything. Everything that I am, I owe to you. You have been remarkable. Thank you. And I just love you so much. I just want you to know how much I love you. And I just want to just tell you how much I love you because you are my life. You are my life. And I... I am so grateful to God for you, Mom. I thank God for you. I thank God for you. You are my treasure. Thank you. You worked so hard. My God, you worked so hard. You worked so hard. You went through so much abuse. You went through so much hardship. You went through so much. The loss of family, isolated from family, isolated from friends, and you didn't stop. You never stopped loving us. You never blamed us. You never blamed us. You just shielded us. Thank you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> well, we I started that, and then I was like, I shut it off and I started crying and then you, uh, I got fired a lot. Why? <laughs> My mouth.
mom. Uh -huh. You, um. Well, it, I worked in a bacon plant and they wanted me to run green bacon. Ooh, what's green bacon? It's green. You know it's no good if the bacon is green, oh, right? right. And they told me, run it anyway, run it anyway. I said, oh, I'm not running it. And I'd shut the machine down. I said, we're going to go on strike right here and right now. I'm not running green bacon. And I was the um, steward, the union steward. And I told everybody there, stop what you're doing. We're not running green bacon. He said, well, you're going home for two weeks without pay. I said, so be it. And weren't you scared because you had kids to feed and yes I was terrified but I have standards and, and values I I couldn't do it I couldn't do it I didn't know when you were working or when you weren't I didn't know which different jobs you had you know we were kids but we were never hungry no and there are so many people that go hungry there are so many people that go hungry. And I do know that sometimes I wouldn't see it. It felt like I wouldn't see you for two days sometimes, even though I know that's not true. Yeah, right. But it felt like it because you would go from one job to another job to another okay. job. Three jobs. Because you didn't want us to ever hurt for anything hurt or for want for anything. Yeah. I wanted you to have the best clothes. I just and loved you so much. And the family wasn't helpful. No. Your family wasn't helpful. No. They they were they weren't supportive and they weren't you know They were like non existent. Yeah. Yeah. I mean and grandma at that time lived so far away from us. Right. But I don't really remember the rest of my family when I was really young because you were the one that did everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. You know. And you I'd give you allowance, and what did you do? I don't know. Here comes my baby across the street with its great big, huge rubber plant carrying it. <laughs> Here, mama. <laughs> and then uh, a little the beautiful dolly with a great big, huge green dress, because my favorite color was green. I did? Yes. Every time I would give you an allowance, you would spend it on me. You could have bought toys or anything you wanted but you would turn around and spend it on me that's what kind of a person you are i don't i don't remember i remember getting allowance i remember doing my chores and, and getting the allowance and saving the allowance yeah um i remember i oh wow but you had to be the man of the house <laughs> I, I i did yeah. you know yes you it did. was a different time back then because kids grew up faster back then kids grew up you, you know you wouldn't leave somebody young alone now but i was pretty mature at my age oh very mature and i i took those responsibilities on very very young to yes. take care of my brother yes take care of the house and make sure that like after school we were like you know but you always had the food ready even though it was terrible I know. <laughs> it, all we had to do was like heat up the oven and, and turn it on and right. and it was there and it was um because you know I'd come home at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know what's funny about that? What? As you liked that food then. <laughs> you didn't know any no, better. No, <laughs> it's... I have been around the world, right? Yes. And I have had incredible experiences with royalty. You know, you know, I, I was very close friends with, with the Sultan of Brunei's son. Yes. And I have been friends with the biggest movie stars in the world, the yes. biggest pop stars. Yes. And I have lived in glamorous houses and driven. And I still have a fondness for the life of my childhood. Oh. I still look back and that's my comfort. You know how some people have like that comfort food? I still have the comfort of... Memories. Of memories. Of... of it, it, and it wasn't simpler for you because you had to work so much, but it was a simpler time for me. You know, I just remember being home and doing my homework and and uh, and and trying to be a good boy because even though you weren't there, you'd be like, you got to shut the TV off at a certain time and you have to go to bed at a certain time and put your brother to bed at a certain time. And uh, 
And I did. And you did. I did. I, you I was, were the man of the I house. I tried to be very responsible. And, and very tried, young. I was so young. Yes. But you prepared me because then when I was so young, when when little Pete needed my help, I was so young then, and I was like, I'm gonna go take care of little Pete, and he's gonna be my kid now. And, but that's because you gave me the foundation. Kids back then had more responsibility. I feel like they had more common sense. I don't know. Here's the thing. I, <laughs> I wouldn't let my kids that young. I don't know why. I got, I'm so overly protective, but maybe it's because my kids didn't demonstrate the same, um, uh, the same level of uh, maturity as I did. You were very mature. I was scared to death to leave you in charge, but I knew that you could do it. I could totally do it. Yeah, you could totally do it. Was it was totally fine. And yes. because you did that, you made me a self-starter. You made me independent. You made me, you just gave me all the tools, mom. You gave me all the tools. You gave me everything. You gave me everything. There isn't a segment in my life that I can't attribute to you. You are, you have well, really. That's an honor. Well, I just, I can't even put it into words, mom. It's true. You just gave me all the tools I needed. I, we lived, it was safer back then, I think. Maybe it wasn't, but it, the perception is, is it was safer, um, you know. You could leave your door unlocked. And even when we were outside playing, you said you better be in the house by the time the street lights. If yes. I come home and the street lights are on and you're not there, you're, you're in, in trouble. trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And sometimes you would come home and we were out and I, you would do the whistle, do the whistle. We would come running, and I was like, "The street lights aren't even on," and they were just click. They were just flickering. I was like, "Oh God, Mom's home." <laughs> <sighs> the toys, the the TV so shows. So many toys. Yeah, they just. You didn't want for anything. I made sure you had the best of the best of the best. Yeah. You if did. I had to work five jobs to get it, you would. Thank your you. Your little cars, your little motorcycles, your bicycles. Thank you. Everything. You deserved it because you were good. You were a good boy. <laughs> well, thank you. I just and wanted to say thank you. you took care of your brother exceedingly well. And we still take care of him. And we take care of you. And you take care of me. And I think that's where it all comes from. We just, we're a tribe that sticks together. That and takes we, care of one another. Yeah. And it's just, we'll always take care of each other. Always. Always, always. Grandma always used to say, you're not gonna put me in a nursing home, are you? Oh, no. And it was so appalling that she would even imagine or think that. Like, how could you even imagine? Well, because uh, a couple siblings- Were told her that they were gonna put her there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah That's where they wanted to put uh, her husband in a nursing home. I wouldn't allow that. Mm -hmm. So, I know, I know that she, that's where she was worried, yeah. but I would never do that. I would never do that to you. I would hope that if anything ever happened to me, nobody would ever do that to me. No. Um, no, that's, we're just built differently. All right. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to say thank you. Well, I want to thank you too, because you're an amazing, you grew up to be an amazing man. You were an amazing little boy, a good little boy. I wasn't so good. Yes. I was a good little boy. I was a rotten teenager. No, you weren't. <laughs> yes, I was. No, you weren't. I think I'll never talk about like <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> no, I don't allow that. Talk. Well, I used to get in fights a lot when I was a teenager. I don't know if you knew that. I used to get in quite a bit of fights, but me too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, I love you very much. Oh, I love you more.